It took me many years to juggle running chainsaws, and I do not suggest that you try that at home. <laughs> but if you do want to learn to juggle, uh, anybody can learn. It takes probably less time than you even think it will take, believe it or not. First of all, this is the basic three ball juggling pattern. Many people think that you, you want to juggle in a circle like this. That's much harder. <laughs> Let's take a look at that pattern real quick. There is the juggling pattern. If you just watch one yellow lemon for a moment, you see the figure eight juggling pattern there, okay? Now, to begin the learning process, you want to take one ball. You want to find anything that's not going to bounce away. Tennis balls are too light. They bounce out of your hand. Use something heavy like an apple, an orange, something heavy. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Bring your hands up where they're comfortable. You want to pick an imaginary point in space directly in front of your eye line, but a little bit higher. You want to watch this space and you'll observe the juggling balls through your peripheral vision. You do not want to watch the ball as it goes. You want to stay looking at this imaginary point in space. Bring your hands up where they're comfortable and you simply throw the ball from one hand to the other without watching the ball. Just look at the imaginary point in space and your peripheral vision will catch it and tell your hands where to go. You want to keep working on that for a while until it becomes comfortable. Don't worry when you drop it, that's going to happen. Just pick it up, continue going on. Once it gets comfortable, you're going to take two balls or two lemons, two oranges, whatever you have around the house. Take two, continue looking at your imaginary point in space, one ball in each hand with your hands up at a comfortable position. You're going to throw the first ball like you've been doing. As it reaches that imaginary point, right before it starts to come down, throw the second ball. So it's just one, two. You catch them both. One, two. Catch them both. You start from your dominant hand. If you're right-handed, start from your right hand. As soon as this gets comfortable, begin starting from your left hand. Left, right, catch, catch. Right, left, catch, catch. Left, right, catch, catch. Continue that until it gets comfortable. This may take a while. You may not even get to three balls until your second day of practice. When you do get to three balls, you want to start with two in your dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm starting with two in my right hand, one in my left. I'm looking at my imaginary point in space, feet are shoulder width apart, bring my hands up where it's comfortable, and I simply do the same thing. The first ball goes up. As soon as it's starting to come down, second ball goes up. As soon as the second ball starts to come down, third ball goes up, and I catch all three. It looks like this. One, two, three. Now, Chances are, the first time you tried it, you threw them up and tried to hand them over in a circle because that's the natural tendency. So uh, break that any way you can. D don't worry about catching the balls at first. Just go one, two, three, and that'll break the habit. Just one, two, three. One, two, three. And that'll, oh, oh, I'm dropping it. I'm a professional. <laughs> so don't worry about dropping, okay, because it's going to happen. And just one, two, three. When that gets comfortable, start from your left hand or your non-dominant hand, and one, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch. Once that gets comfortable and you feel like you're ready to go for it, you just want to continue throwing them up. Every time that one ball reaches the top of the arc, the, the ball from the other hand goes up in the air. One, two, three, four, just continue going. Notice my timing, one, two, three, four, five, six. When you first start, you may try and go one, two, three. Well, then they're going to come down much too fast to catch them. So just nice, easy timing. One, two, three. If you throw them uh, maybe six inches higher than your head, six inches to a foot higher than your head, you have more time in between throws. If you throw them too low down here, you have to go very fast and you have to get good really quick. So I don't advise that. I advise picking that point maybe six inches above your high eye line, throwing the balls maybe a foot above your head. Nice and easy rhythm. One, two, three. Uh, the main other two, two tips, two very important tips. <laughs> if you're starting to throw them in front of you and run forward, which is a natural tendency, that means instead of throwing the ball on the inside, you're throwing the ball forward, trying to go around this ball this way, when you want to go on the inside of this ball. Watch again the figure eight. Just watch the green ball. See how it goes around in a figure eight? You can exaggerate this movement without any juggling. Just move your arms like this. That's very exaggerated, 
but that's what your hands are doing. They're not going straight up and down. They're going in, a, in circles, which makes the ball, in effect, go in a figure eight. So if you continue to have the problem of running forward as you're doing it, you want to practice in front of a wall, because then your hands will hit the wall, and it hurts, and you quit doing it more quickly that way. <laughs> Uh, one other tip is don't try to learn it all at once. Don't think you know you're going to learn. You're going to spend the next eight hours. You're going to be juggling at the end of the time. You get frustrated, and your learning the learning curve goes down. If you just spend 15 minutes at a time, a couple times a day over the week, you probably will be juggling three balls a lot quicker than you think. But just have patience. Don't try to learn it all at one time. Now one thing to keep in mind if you're getting intimidated and overwhelmed by this is just, if you take a look, just watch the lemon, watch that yellow lemon, and just see how slow the pattern really is. Especially the higher you throw, the slower it's gonna be. Now if you go too high, it's gonna start to maybe get out of control. So you wanna find that median here where you really have a lot of time. If you watch my, my hands, most of the time there's only one ball in the air at a time. About 70% of the time, there's only one thing in the air. Look, two in my hand, one in the air. Okay? So only 30% of the time are there even two things in the air. So just keep an eye on that. You don't want to go real fast and then get over in real fast. You want to keep a nice, even rhythm like that, okay?